Well, they should be. <clears throat> Obviously, it has ramifications for the ninth chapter of Daniel. But more acutely and more focally, it is helping set the stage for Zechariah chapter 12, when the nations will come against Jerusalem. This conference in Paris, which, interestingly, neither the Israelis nor the so-called Palestinians will be in attendance at in any featured way, is something that helps explain the timing of the dagger that John Kerry and Barack Obama put in the back of Israel. It was not just that the USA did not veto the UN Security Council resolution. Barack Obama planned it with Kerry. The evidence is not just evidence, it's de facto proof. It, a setup, a hit by Barack Obama against Israel before he leaves office to saddle the new president with the Security Council resolution that would be very difficult to reverse. Now, as I pointed out, if we did not have a new president coming, God's judgment would fall on America because of Barack Obama. Please, Jesus, may your hand raise against Barack Obama instead of on America because of him. I was happy today to learn that the U.S. House of Representatives passed a resolution of its own denouncing and decrying the UN resolution. Otherwise, God's judgment will come on America. Barack Obama is a wicked, wicked man. He's a servant of Satan. Has been from the beginning. He's a disciple of Jeremiah Wright, whose prayer was goddamn America. Barack Obama is an enemy of Israel. He's betrayed Israel to Iran. He's betrayed America to Iran. Read Daniel 10 and what Iran represents in end-time prophecy. He's a dangerous, dangerous, wicked man. Thank God we've seen the end of him. May the Lord deal with him swiftly. The only good thing I can say about him is the decline of liberal progressivism has been so rapid in terms of seats in state legislatures and in Congress and so forth that he's led that political wing that he he leads in, 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 into, into decline. Other than that, there's nothing good that he said about him. This conference in Paris has had the stage set for it by Barack Obama and the hatchet job that he and John Kerry did on Israel. The betrayal of the naive and foolish American Jewish community, who by and large, but not exclusively supported him, which again, Alan Dershowitz at least admitted, and it's a betrayal of Israel, but it's also a betrayal of the interests of the United States. It's setting the stage. Read Zechariah 12 when you see the way these things are going. Again, I've urged prayer for President-elect, soon to be President Trump, and for Vice President Mike Pence, who's a believer. I pray to God they keep their pledge to move the embassy of the United States to Jerusalem. And I pray they withhold funding to the UN unless this resolution is reversed. Please pray that President Trump does the right thing. God will bless America for it. He will bless America, but he will curse those nations who curse Israel. Theresa May has placed Great Britain once again under the judgment of God. She's actually voted, not abstained, she voted. Calling the Wailing Wall occupied territory. The Wailing Wall is now occupied territory, and Theresa May voted for it. When Britain revoked the Belfower Declaration and took Jewish refugees out of concentration camps and put them in British internment camps in Cyprus to stop them from coming to Israel, we saw what happened to Great Britain. The empire collapsed. When the Belfour Declaration was reversed uh, by the British government and Jews burned in Auschwitz, in Buchenwald, in Belzen, Coventry, Liverpool, and London burned. The Luftwaffe, the same Nazis, hit it. Obadiah, verse 15. As you do to Israel, it will be done to you. It is only the fact that America has elected a pro Zionist president, and that the American Congress 
has voted decrying what the UN has done at the behest and engineering of the conspiracy of Barack Obama and John Kerry. Otherwise, God's judgment will be coming on America. But mark my words, Britain is heading for trouble unless something is done about this wicked woman. And Barack Obama has made himself the enemy of God. What I would leave you with is please pray against that conference in Paris that the Lord will send upon them a spirit of confusion. The ridiculous folly, half a million Arabs killed by their own people in Syria, what's happening in Iran and Saudi Arabia in the area of human rights. Yet Israel becomes the focus, Israel becomes the problem. When there's open genocide throughout the Muslim world to say nothing of the unspeakable persecution of Christians taking place in Islamic nations in the Middle East and beyond. Yet they make the issue Israel. This is a demonic spirit setting the stage for Zechariah 12. May the Lord confound them in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Once again, my name is Jacob Prash. Thank you for your question. And please pray for the salvation of Israel and the Jews and of the Arab people. Blessings to your friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kendall and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kendall. Kendall. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Memorial Catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.